Hey guys, it's Sarah, and today I bring to you books that need to be movies. This video is being sponsored by Penguin Teen in honor of the recent movie news regarding their Rebel of the Sands trilogy. Willow Smith recently teamed up with Cartel Entertainment to purchase film rights to this trilogy and I believe she plans on starring in the project. Rebel of the Sands is a fantasy that centers around a girl named Amani. Amani lives in a small desert town called Dustwalk and she is both an orphan and a talented gunslinger. Through a series of events she meets a mysterious stranger named Jin who is a fugitive and with him she escapes from her town and that's basically where the adventure begins. From what I hear, this book series is incredibly cinematic and it would probably make a really great movie. I really look forward to seeing what Willow Smith does with it as well as seeing a really awesome POC cast. With that being said, I also have my own list of books that I think should be made into movies, so I thought I would share those with you. The first of these books is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. For those of you who have been watching my channel recently, I've been raving about this book. It was my favorite book that I read in 2017. This is kind of a hard book to explain, but it's a high fantasy that centers around this character named Laszlo. He is an orphan and he's also a librarian. In this society, I don't really know what you would call it, it's sort of like a caste system. You can have different professions that rank you in society, and so he is a librarian and they work under these people called scholars and basically scholars are the people making like scientific discoveries and inventing things and the scholars are the ones that do the research and kind of the brunt work for them. In his free time, Laszlo spends all of his time researching this lost city. I don't really know what you would compare this city to besides Atlantis. So it's sort of like some people claim that it was once real but it's been lost and so a lot of people think it's a myth and he spends all of his free time looking up things about it and trying to find proof for it because ever since he was a little boy it has fascinated him. The the city is called Weep and at one point in the book they discover that Weep is actually real and a delegate from Weep comes and decides to take the city's best and brightest to come solve a problem in Weep and so basically this book is him getting a chance to go to Weep. It discusses hate and prejudice and holding grudges and sort of the consequences of those things. I feel like it's a very relevant book to today even though it's fantasy and the prejudice is among like fantasy characters but I think it's just so good and it's so beautiful and it's so heartbreaking. I just think it would make an amazing amazing movie. I don't know who would direct it because I feel like it would be easy to do this wrong just because it's such an intricate sort of story and world but maybe like somebody like Peter Jackson even though The Hobbit sucked but Lord of the Rings is very good so somebody like that who could just like transform this and make it so good. I just realized that I've been holding this book upside down for a lot of my explanation and I apologize for that. The next book on my list is Angel Fall by Susan E. For some reason I haven't talked about this series in a very long time on my channel and I don't know why because it's one of my favorites. It's a post-apocalyptic series in which the world has kind of gone downhill because angels have invaded and taken over. The humans have no idea why and they've sort of become inferior beings and angels just kind of roam the streets and like kill people and they just don't know why and our main character is a girl named Penryn and she's just trying to survive with her mom who is schizophrenic and her sister who is wheelchair bound. In the beginning of this first book Penryn's sister is kidnapped by one of the angels and so through a series of events she has to team up with this fallen angel named Raffi who's lost his wings and basically they just have to kind of go and find her sister and also Penryn sort of figures out why these angels have invaded and what's going on and it's just such a great series. I feel like a lot of people have kind of stopped talking about this series on booktube and I don't know why because it's action-packed and it's really really great. I feel like this book is also very cinematic and it would make a really really great movie and there would just be a lot of awesome fight scenes. I do think though that angels and demons can be very cheesy in film so it would have to be done by the right person. I don't know who that person is but if it was done well this would be a really really awesome movie. The next book on this list is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. I know this book has very mixed reviews. You either love it or you hate it. I am in the category of someone who really liked it. You sort of have to go into this book blind if you don't want to be spoiled but to give you a very very brief synopsis it centers around this girl who comes from a wealthy family and they have a private island and they go there every summer with her extended family to vacation one of these summers something very bad happens and she ends up with a concussion so she can't remember she keeps asking her family to fill in the gaps but unfortunately the doctors tell them that they have to let her remember on her own so this next summer that she ends up going she tries to figure out the secrets that her family is keeping and she is 
is very surprised at what she finds. Like I said, a lot of people hated this book, but what I liked about this reading experience was the writing style. It was very poetic and a lot of it was very figurative and you couldn't fully understand what was going on. And I really liked that. And I feel like if it was done right as a movie, someone could bring that to life in film form. I think of movies like Wicker Park where the scenes are sort of like out of order and very, very confusing or like Memento or something. And I just, I feel like, like I said, if it was done right, it would be really, really good. The next book on my list will come as no surprise to anyone because it is The Diviners by Luba Bray. Many of you know that this is one of my favorite books of all time. I do want to say that I'm going to be breaking the rules a little bit with this book. I know that the video is called Books That I Need Made Into Movies, but I actually think that The Diviners should be made into a television show, and I will shortly get into why that is. But first, let me tell you what it's about. Basically, it is a book series that takes place in the 1920s, and it centers around this cast of characters that all have different special abilities. In this first book, there is a character named Evie who lives in the Midwest, and she has the ability to touch objects and read their history. And so she gets in trouble at a party and she's forced to go live in New York City with her uncle who owns an occult museum. And when she arrives, there has been a series of murders committed. There's occult symbols surrounding the bodies, and so her uncle is called in to investigate and she ends up helping him with her ability. This book series is just so great because the 1920s are just such an interesting time. And then you add the paranormal element and ghosts and intrigue, and it's just so awesome. And it also has a very diverse group of characters. I think it would be awesome for it to be adapted because it would just represent so many marginalized groups. The reason I think it should be a TV series and not a movie is because I feel like because there is such a wide cast of characters, it's written in a very episodic way. I literally, when I'm reading it, can see when an episode would start and when an episode would end. And like I said, there's just a lot of complex plot and intrigue and I just feel like based on the three books that are already out, it would like lend to so many seasons. And I personally think that it should be done on a channel like Netflix or HBO, just sort of like a premium station. I'm using the wrong words because Netflix is a streaming service, but you know what I'm saying? Like, like some sort of distributor who has more like artistic liberty because I feel like if it was adapted by like the CW or ABC, it would be radically changed and then we would lose a lot of what's happening in this story. So yeah, I just feel like it would make a really, really good TV series, but only if it was done by one of those like kind of like premium things, you know? Again, words are failing me, but you know what I'm saying. It would be so good. And last but not least is Night Film by Marisha Pessel. This also won't surprise you because this is my other favorite book of all time. I'm gonna break the rules again. I think that Night Film should be adapted into a miniseries, not a movie or a TV show. And let me tell you why. <laughs> Night Film centers around this investigative journalist named Scott, and his career has been ruined over this very enigmatic director named Stanislas Cordova. Cordova is a horror film director that is very, very underground, and his his films are so forbidden that you can't watch them unless you get like a red band version. And so basically Scott many years ago tried to call Cordova out for like these dark secrets and it basically just ruined his career because Cordova is very very powerful. At the beginning of this, Cordova's daughter Ashley is found dead and the police believe that she has committed suicide but Scott thinks there's much more to the story because he thinks Cordova is a very very dark person and so he starts researching more into it. What I love about this book is that it's told in mixed media format so there's a lot of like blog posts and message boards and news reports and and that sort of thing in here that help aid the narrative. I personally think this would be a really really great mini series because I think there is too much here to be just a movie but also not enough to be a TV show. A crazy thing about this book is that Cordova is a fictional film director but the descriptions of his movies are so real that it makes you feel like you want to see one of his movies when you're done reading this and I feel like in a mini series they would be able to you know create those little excerpts of his movies and like show that to you so I just feel like it would be very very good on screen but like I said I just feel like it would be too rushed if it was in a movie but also too dragged out if it was like a multiple season TV show so I feel like one mini series that spans like you know eight to ten episodes would be perfect for this but that's pretty much it for the list of books that I feel like need to be made into movies let me know down below if you have any books that you would love to see on the big screen and yeah thank you all so much for watching you're all beautiful have a nice day I'll still see you in my dreams All the things that I did for you Just wasn't here for you